Harry is getting criticized for making it seem like he's the only one speaking out about mental health issues. People are saying he's trying to get a lot of attention for himself. This was mentioned by a royal commentator named Daniela Elsa. She explained everything in an article for News.com Australia. She also began the conversation by criticizing Prince Harry for sharing a lot of information about the Invictus Games without revealing its true meaning. She said something important that's almost completely missing and often overlooked in the core of Invictus, the significant role that the royal family and Harry's connection to it have played in the Invictus Games story. It's also worth noting that if someone watched the series Heart without knowing much about the games, they might not understand this aspect. She strongly believed that the entire wonderful thing was initiated by a man named Harry who has kids and dogs. She also mentioned the same Invictus origin story that is often told. In this story, Harry goes to war in Afghanistan, comes back home after a second tour, and then decides to use his platform to assist veterans and those returning from service. Later on, she inquired about this platform, questioning why it was never mentioned whether the words royal family or monarchy were ever used in the series My Heart. If they were mentioned at all, it happened very briefly. She also believes she mentioned that if someone didn't know better, they might think that it was only Harry, a member of the royal family, who had enthusiastically embraced the cause of mental health and championed it all by himself. However, this isn't the complete truth or the whole story, not even close. The story about the royal family's involvement in mental health work has completely left out the Prince and Princess of Wales. Interestingly, Princess Kate, when she became a patron, supported a children's mental health charity called Place to Be. She later took over from Anna Freud's center and also got involved with the Maternal Mental Health Alliance. It's not just Harry, his brother and sister-in-law. All three of them together used their joint royal foundation to launch Heads Together in 2016. Miss Elsa responded by pointing out that even Prince William has publicly acknowledged the pain he felt following Princess Diana's death. She emphasized that it wasn't just Harry, but also William and Kate, who have been actively working on mental health issues. She continued by saying that despite all this, the Heart series seems to present Harry as the sole royal family member, leading the charge to change the conversation and remove the stigma around mental health. It appears that the contributions of the Wales family on this front have been completely left out. According to the Daily Beast, friends of Prince William and Catherine have expressed concerns that Harry's upcoming visit to London could overshadow the one-year anniversary of Queen Elizabeth E's death, especially if Harry generates controversy through interviews to promote his new Netflix series, Heart of Invictus, and the upcoming Invictus Games. The friend mentioned that they fear Harry's focus on promoting his project might detract from the significance of the day. And some source said veterans and Piers Morgan call out Harry's Heart of Invictus lies in Harry's documentary, Heart of Invictus, which premiered on Wednesday, August 30th. He shared information about his childhood and his experiences in the military. However, Piers Morgan noticed that some of the things Harry said in the documentary didn't align with what he had previously admitted or revealed in the past. In the documentary, Harry shared that he didn't have the support system or expert guidance to help him identify what was happening with his mental health. He mentioned that the issues he was dealing with dated back to 1997, when he was just 12 years old and lost his mother. He explained that he had experienced trauma but wasn't really aware of it and nobody talked about it. He suppressed those feelings, as many young people do. However, at some point, everything came to the surface, and he described feeling overwhelmed and not understanding why he was suddenly experiencing strong emotions instead of feeling numb. Harry's remarks angered many members of the royal family and experts. Piers Morgan pointed out that Harry had claimed to have no support for his mental health problems after his service in Afghanistan, while promoting his new Netflix series. However, he had previously mentioned in an interview how much his brother had supported him. Piers Morgan expressed frustration, saying he was tired of Harry constantly portraying himself as a victim and that their recollections seemed to be inconsistent. Morgan believes that Harry's recent admission contradicts what he had said in previous interviews and statements. In 2013, 
Harry had acknowledged that Prince William played a crucial role in his mental health journey. Harry had said, my brother, you know, bless him. He was a huge support to me. He kept saying, this isn't right. This isn't normal. You need to talk to someone about stuff. It's okay. Commentator Angela Levin also commented on the Duke's mental health in response to the documentary. She pointed out that many people have experienced mental health problems. Prince Harry, despite being a hero for his service and amputation, has been criticized for continually complaining about his life. He has also disagreed with the royal family's assertion that the media didn't adequately cover the challenges faced by wounded British troops in Afghanistan. In his Netflix series, Harry talks about a moment when he witnessed severely injured service members being transported back to the UK. He describes how a curtain on the flight was pulled back, allowing him to see inside the air hospital where injured soldiers would receive critical treatment. The Duke expressed, Steph, I felt anger about what happened to these individuals. I was upset that the media wasn't giving it enough attention. But at that time, I wasn't sure what needed to be done. However, this statement has been challenged by some who argue that there was significant media coverage and support, along with notable charity campaigns like Help for Heroes, for Injured Soldiers, and the Families of Those Who Lost Their Lives. Former Royal Marine Commando Ben McBean, aged 36, suffered the loss of an arm and a leg when he accidentally stepped on a Taliban landmine. His condition was so critical that he was not expected to survive during the flight back home. Prince Harry traveled alongside him during that journey and commented at the time, Those are the heroes, guys who had been injured by a landmine while serving their country, simply carrying out a routine patrol. Reacting to Harry's recent statements, he told The Sun, I've been supportive of him for 15 years. I've always been in his corner, but that doesn't mean I have to agree with everything he says, especially on this issue. The Duke of Sussex is mistaken. He went on to mention that his family, including his parents and uncle, have met Harry and William. He mentioned that he thinks Harry is cool, but as a 36-year-old man, he doesn't share the same opinion. He emphasized that the media had explained why the war was happening and why people might see amputees in their local communities. These comments were made after the Duke made an unexpected appearance at a special preview screening of his new five-part show in California. The show has been in production for over two years. And sources said Meghan Markle taking massive risk by walking away from Prince Harry Meghan Markle has received a serious warning about the potential consequences of distancing her brand from Prince Harry, considering his royal background. These concerns and statements come from royal commentator and expert Kinsey Stofield, who discussed this during her interview with Fox News. She began the conversation by highlighting the evident divide that has emerged between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle since the release of Heart of Invictus. To clarify, the Duchess recently signed with the WME Talent Management Agency, separately from her husband. Regarding these clear signs of professional separation, Ms. Stofield remarked, then the Heart of Invictus trailer was released, and we discovered that Prince Harry was the executive producer, without Meghan. I do believe that Meghan may be getting advice suggesting that she is better off without Prince Harry and the royal drama from a professional standpoint. However, it's important to remember that Meghan was a working actor before her marriage to Harry. She wasn't a celebrity or a household name. We embraced and accepted Meghan because we have cherished Prince Harry since he was a young boy.